Every single week we do the great search. The DigiKey Lady Ada shows you how to find all things you're looking for on the DigiKey site. What is the great search this week, Lady Ada? Okay, so this week we're going to show how to chain together these um, RGB LED matrices if you've picked up a matrix portal from Adafruit or DigiKey. You want to connect multiple matrices together, especially if you need a custom cable length. Um, IDC cables are really, really popular. Um, they're incredibly inexpensive. Uh, they're kind of a standard. They use uh, 0.1 inch spacing. Um, you know, they're, they're fairly easy to put together, especially if you, you have factory. Uh, so, you know, it, they're not, they don't have like weird, like, you know, you have to get contacts in. You basically just like crimp them down all at once. They're very, that's why it makes them very cheap um, and common is because they're very simple to manufacture. And um, you can get these like crimper things that allow you to create your own IDC cables. Um, and I've done this and Phil, you remember we had a little press that we made IDC yeah. cables with, and it kind of sucks. So what I do recommend is, um, you know, just get the cables pre-made from DigiKey. They'll do it for you. Especially if you only need a couple, you don't want to pick up, like these are, you know, not inexpensive tools. If you don't have to uh, make them yourself, uh, just get them at DigiKey. They're only a couple bucks and get them in like any size, length, and configuration you want. So uh, the cables that we will be getting, uh, do you mind if we go to the overhead real fast? Are these IDC cables that go between RGB matrices. So um, you'll, you'll know the common IDC matrix, uh, sorry, the common IDC cable by the fact that they tend to be two rows, very common. It's rare to see one row. Um, there'll be this little nub here sometimes and that matches with a cutout on, you can even see on the silk screen, there's a little notch. That's the polarizing key. Um, there's often a red marking on the uh, connector. You'll also know that these are very common, um, you know, they're used with a uh, Raspberry Pi. So like, you know, this is a, a Raspberry Pi with an IDC connector as well. Um, also the same dual row, 40 pin. This one is less, so this one is dual row, um, eight pins, right? So you count them eight pins two times, 16 pin total, has a polarizing key. So that's something we have to watch for. We wanna make sure that we get that. And then, you know, we can get these in almost every length and size and color, but uh, we won't care about the color too much this time. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so in case you're wondering all about IDC connector, like what does IDC stand for? And I was like, I don't remember. Insulation displacement connector. And again, they look like this. They have these little uh, notches in the connector that they, when you connect them, they crimp, they, they go into the ribbon cable and uh, kind of nick it. And that's what makes the contacts. And you can, um, you can get them with like uh, DB connectors on the end we want in this case. Uh, another thing that's really cool about them is you can have them like in the center. A few people remember putting together computers and you had like SCSI drives or um, uh, what's it called? ID drives. And you remember you had, or floppy, you'd have like two of these um, connectors on one cable. Uh, now these people use SATA, so this is not as common, but um, that's, you know, again, incredibly popular cable. So uh, let's go to DigiKey. And uh, luckily searching for IDC cables is really easy. You start with IDC cables, right? Classic. Um, and then you can get parts to make your own if you so wish, like if you just want that crimpy part. But again, you need, you need to like use a vise to, to make it squish evenly. Um, that said, they come in like panel mount style and they come in like free hanging style and like they come with like little, little hooky things on the side and that's, that grabs the cable and keeps it in place, which is, is amazing. There's, there's a lot of innovation in IDC cables gold plate, tin plate. Anyway, so if you want to make your own cables, go to town. Um, there's also D sub versions, right? But what we're going to look at is the assemblies. Um, now assemblies are interesting. You can get cable assemblies from DigiKey. Thing to watch for is um, they're not in stock. They'll take a day sometimes because somebody actually has to make the cable for you. And especially if you're making a bunch of cables, um, they may not be like socked cables. That said, uh, we should always look for active cables. And um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to look at number of positions. Again, uh, two by eight means 16 total things that stick in. 
So let's apply that. Okay, next up, how many rows? Again, number of rows is like two. If it's not two, something's weird. IDC cables are almost, almost always two. Next up, there's the pitch of the cable and the pitch of the connector. Um, now there are two millimeter pitch or 1.27 pitch connectors. Uh, people will actually see 1.27 pitch connectors on SWD cables. Um, if you've ever had to um, debug a board, I don't know if I have. Yeah, hold on. Can, I, can you go to the overhead real fast and I'll show this. Um, if you ever have a something with like a good SWD or JTAG debug, you might see these like, it's IDC, right? It's got that same notch and it's got the same dual row like connector, but this is point, um, this is 0.05 inch, not 0.1 inch. So it's, it's like ultra fine. Uh, you'll know when you see these because they're like, wow, it looks like an IDC, but like shrunken down. Um, that's when you're using 1.27 millimeter, but it's not common for like when you're usually dealing with these kind of cables because these are a little bit more expensive. Okay, so back to the computer. So uh, for the pitch of the connector, we want 2.54, and then the pitch of the cable is going to be half because the, the, the cable connectors are two per lane and they alternate. Anyways, it's just believe me, it's going to be 0.1 inch and then it actually won't even show up if you select 0.1 inch spacing because they have to be 0.05. Um, and then there's a couple like, okay, there's like all the options for like strain relief and stuff. But let's look at all the connector ends. So you can get them with like raw cable on the end. So there's only like one pluggy part. You can get them with different connector orientations. So like the, this is the, um, the plug, ver there's like the socket version and the plug version. See so how this one has like the holes. And then this is, sorry, so this is the socket and this is the plug. And so you can like make extension cables and you can have ones that plug into IDCs. Like again, uh, this is a, the innovative uh, uh, place. So you can get like ones with flanges for like mounting, all sorts of stuff. We want the standard um, plug to plug. Like we want this, which is, sorry, that's a socket. Gotta get that right. This is a socket, get the socket, connect to a socket. So let's, let's do socket to socket. I think this is what we want. Okay, yeah, that looks right. You want two sockets on either side. Um, and then we get to choose, I mean, there's kind of like a whole bunch of stuff. There's like basically length. So let's just say we want um, like th about three feet. So let's select um, all of these options. Like three to four feet. I don't know, I really want a long cable for some reason. Okay. Um, and then do you want the polarizing key and strain relief? The strain relief is the folded over part. So, um, if you go to the overhead, I'll show you what I mean. So this part here, this is the strain relief. You, it's actually not necessary. You can do without, but it's just, um, like you'll, uh, like if you see on this cable, there's no strain relief. Um, the cable just comes out and they're, I mean, it's connected and it's, it's crimped on and it's strong, but it doesn't have that extra, extra thing at the top that doubles over the cable. Whether you want or not, it doesn't matter, but you know, you might have situations where you want a little bit, um, more protection, especially somebody yanking it back and forth a lot. Okay. Let's go back to the computer and we'll wrap it up. Okay. Uh, so we do want the polarizing key and, uh, I don't care about strain relief. So let's get that. And then, uh, finally I'm going to, uh, do my favorite thing, which I sort by price. And this is what came up. So this is, um, socket to socket, 16 pin, two row, unshielded, has a polarizing key is three feet long uses the gray ribbon. I guess you can get like rainbow and there's tin and gold plate. You know, it's up to you whether you want tin or gold. I mean, the cost difference is one cent. So honestly, you probably want to go, uh, for gold if you're, if you're doing it. And then this is the rendering of what you're going to get. No, that's just a rendering. It's not the actual thing. And then, um, you know, there's, if you want something slightly different, they give you the uh, ordering code. 
And then when you order this, this is a value added item. What does that mean? It means that they have to assemble it, you know, when they get the order. So you can order as many as you want, but it's not going to like ship immediately. It's going to take, um, you know, a day or depending on how many, a couple days. And then, um, you know, if you order a bunch, there are discounts. So, you know, it, if you get to like 100 or 200, you're, you're basically going to drop down to like, you know, a dollar, a dollar fifty uh, per cable. And this is a pretty long cable, like three feet, so not a, a minimal amount of size. So if you want shorter cables, they definitely can be inexpensive. So you can see why people really like IDC cables. So next time you see an IDC cable and you're just like, do I have to crimp that? The answer is no. Did you keep crimp it? Does uh, gold last longer? The gold will be less likely to oxidize. So it does, it does last longer and it will, you know, survive in a human environment better. Yeah. But both are Rojas, in case you're wondering about that. All right. All right, and that's the Great Search. All right, that's the Great Search. We do the Great Search every single week. Thank you so much, DigiKey, and thank you, Lady Ada, for showing everyone on how to find stuff on digikey.com. It is an art, it is a science, it is something Lady Ada does really good, and she shares that with you every single week. That's right. That is. I'm a professional engineer. This week. Where